So basketball is huge in the Philippines. They have arguably the most passionate basketball fans in the world. But even with basketball being huge in the Philippines, it hasn't translated to the success that might be expected. However, there's one basketball player from the Philippines who was a McDonald's All-American nominee, who had a scholarship to UCLA, although it was rescinded for academic reasons, and is one of the most exciting basketball players in the world to watch, one of the best three-on-three -three players in the world, and it's Kobe Paris. I get asked to do this video so, so much, so this video is how good is Kobe Paris actually? So before this video starts, if you guys are new to the channel, like the content, subscribe. We are trying to hit 50,000 subscribers by St. Patrick's Day, the 17th of March. We're currently just over 47,000 and it's going to be extremely, extremely close. I'm going to get a video out every two days between now and then. But to do that, I'm going to need a little bit of help from you guys. If you guys have any ideas for videos, please follow me on Instagram and DM me on there. If you send me a message that I use your idea for a video, I will give you a shout out. But it's just really hard to come up with ideas constantly and it would be a great, great help if you guys can message me on there. But anyway, now let's get on to the video. So Kobe Paris attended La Salle Green Hills in the Philippines where he played for their basketball team. However, he moved to America in the middle of the 13-14 school year where he played for Cathedral High School in Los Angeles. He played for Middlebrook Academy prep team in his final year of high school basketball and was actually a McDonald's All-American Game nominee. He committed to UCLA to play for their basketball team. However, on June 30th, 2016, he withdrew from UCLA after failing to meet their academic requirements. After that, 80 Division I schools expressed interest in signing him. On July 18, 2016, he signed for Creighton University, becoming the first Filipino to ever join the program. However, he played extremely limited minutes with them, transferred to Cal State Northridge to play under Reggie Theus, but had to redshirt this year due to NCAA eligibility rules. But to be honest, if you're watching this video, you probably already know a lot of this. So I'm gonna go over his strengths first. First strength is his size. He's six foot six, six foot seven. He's long, he's got long arms, and he's also really strong. If you're looking at these highlights, this is a 19 year old. These highlights were from when he was 19. He's got a basically an NBA body already. He's also extremely bouncy. As you can see from these highlights, he's a dunker. And also you can see it now in the background, but he actually managed to pull off the Larry Nance dunk contest board tap dunk, but went one step further and did a reverse Larry Nance board tap dunk, which is crazy. He can shoot the ball well from mid, he can shoot the ball well from three, he shoots quite well off the dribble. Also from watching him in the 3v3 world championships has a quite a nice post fadeaway. However, I can't really show those clips for copyright reasons, you can look them up if you want. And he's also quite a crafty finisher around the basket. He can finish quite well with both hands. However, he's nowhere near as powerful and as fearless around the ring as his dad was, who was a professional basketball player in the Philippines. He is still quite a powerful player around the basket. Now let's go on to his weaknesses. First of all, he's an average at best passer. He's a scorer and a flat out scorer. Every time he catches the ball, he looks to score. He's essentially tunnel vision. When he gets it, he's either shooting it or going to the basket. And a last resort, he's passing the ball. But what else could you expect with a name like Kobe? What else could you expect him to be like? He's not always the most focused defender. While he should be a good defender, he's quick enough on his feet, he's long and big. He should be a good defender, he's not the most focused and often isn't the best on that end of the floor. And the last weakness is his basketball IQ. This is one thing that's very hard to judge by looking at highlights, but I've read a lot of scouting reports about him and they all say the same things about him. Every scouting report says he has the tools to be a great player at the collegiate level, and some even say he has the tools to be a solid NBA player. However, from what I've seen, he doesn't seem to play the game the right way, and it doesn't seem like he'll be able to fit into a lot of team systems. Which may be a big reason why he played so few minutes last year at Creighton, even though he is an extremely skilled player. But how good is Kobe Paris actually? Really, really good. There's no question about that. From a skill set perspective solely, you could say he definitely has borderline NBA potential. However, we've yet to see him come up against any NBA level or NCAA Division I level competition in a competitive setting. Yes, when he was in high school, we saw him dominate at camps, but it's really not the same thing, especially when his, the biggest question about him is his basketball IQ. There's no doubt that Kobe Paris has the skill level to make it at the next level. There's no doubt that he's the skill level to make it at the NBA level. The problem is still his basketball IQ, and who knows what that could be like. We haven't seen him play basketball really since he left high school, and he's currently playing over in the Philippines just training during his redshirt year. He was really good at the 3v3 championships during the summer, 
summer and was solid for the Philippines national team during the summer. So you never know, he could come back a completely changed player. And if that's the case, I genuinely think that there's a possibility of him making the NBA. While it's not a high possibility, it's not a probability, it's very much a 5% chance that he makes the NBA. But I have no doubt that Kobe Paris, if he doesn't make the NBA, will have a great professional career wherever he wants to play. And I think more than likely what's going to be the case is he will end up going back to the Philippines, play for their national team, play in the PBA, and become an absolute star over there. So is Kobe a great player? Yes. NBA level? Probably not. But you have to think about it that there's only 450 roster spots in the NBA and saying that a player is not good enough to be in those 450 players is not saying anything negative about him. Kobe Paris is an incredible, incredible basketball player. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.